So, but you said something last week that I've been thinking about ever since. <laughs> and, and we get questions. That it's we a little think. pearl of wisdom I want her to share with all of you. It's when I say, fucking can be foreplay for masturbation. Yes. Because at the end of, say, 10, 15, 20 minutes of intercourse, you're turned on. I'm just getting going. I have to say, I'm just getting And this is, the, this is the difference between male and female sexuality. Mm-hmm. The man builds up more quickly. He comes, and then he's, yes. he, he wants a rest. We build up very slowly and how many thousands of times as the man had his orgasm, and I'm 10, 15 minutes. Min- of- but you've built up. You're like you're almost there. Yeah, like you're yeah. halfway there. Yeah. You're two thirds there. Yeah. And I would just roll over and grab my vibe. Sometimes they don't like that. Well, if if it's a sophisticated man, if he has any sexual knowledge, he'll bless you. You see, that's it, honey. And I would watch. I mean, for me, it's a show. Yeah. Why not watch it? I uh, yeah. He could you know nibble your ear, whisper. Well, that's it. Yeah, kiss, play with your nipples, do something like. Actually, I don't like that. Oh really? No. I like it when they roll over and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I can just get And I still have the body there and the nice, you know, energy exchange. Because that's what it is. It's the skin on skin and it's the everything you've been building together and it's hot. And there was that young woman who wrote in who said that she's been in a relationship for two years. Oh, bless her And heart. she's never had an orgasm and now she's afraid her boyfriend's going to dump her. Okay, now here's what it is. She's never had an orgasm from penis-vagina sex. Could we please get clear that a penis inside a vagina, moving in and out, very few women have an orgasm with that action. Very few. And the ones that do, usually there's a lot of foreplay and you're right in front of an orgasm and then the guy yeah. goes to intercourse. You can get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and they keep thinking that this is how they must come. Well, I feel like men have pressure that they want to make a woman calm, and like if they don't make a woman calm while they're a lover, then they internalize that and they feel bad about themselves. They judge their their sexual capabilities from your orgasm. So, and if you have a very quiet orgasm, that's not good enough. I mean, <laughs> come on, they've been conditioned with porn. They want the ah 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 ah. And some people don't come like that. Some people are very quiet, and you know, and and it doesn't matter. If you are quiet or if you're noisy, the point is it's it's your orgasm. It's not his. And I no, you guys, you can't take credit. You can't take credit for the woman's orgasm. She's the one that's focused. She's the one that's running. She's her internal energy is what she's working with. And you're simply uh, facilitating that. You're assisting a, it. You're a human vibrator. You get what I'm saying? In other words, you're making her feel good so that she can come. But it's a shared, a shared process, and it's intimate. Well, you always talk about independent orgasms, and I think that is very important for who we are as people, and our self-esteem, and our, you know, security and our confidence. Is that I want someone else to share an orgasm with me, but I don't need them to. No, that's I'm not dependent on that. That's the new, that's the new uh, paradigm. We used to. I mean, I had how many women came to see me to learn about orgasm? This one woman, I loved it. She was actually a, a sex therapist, all right? Oh, really? West Coast. And she wanted to learn how to have a clitoral orgasm so she could do herself. Because sometimes she was mad at her husband. Oh, I love that. And didn't want to have to go get him for her orgasm. So, and another woman comes in and she's, the only way she can come is when her husband does her clit manually. I love that, though. <laughs> but she can't do it herself. So it's still dependent sex. So if we have independent orgasms, does that enhance our partner sex? Yes. yes. Why? Well, because you have freedom. He's not in the mood. Honey, I need my orgasm. He's, he's reading the newspaper. He's watching television. Well, go ahead and have it. No, I need you. Oh, you you do it better than anyone. I mean, you know, so I guess... And that but, undermines the relationship because when anyone's needy, it's an obligation. Then you don't want to do it. I I wouldn't want no I don't like I wouldn't like that feeling. Now it's it's flattering to have someone say, "Honey, let's let's play together. Let's have sex. Yeah. Let's do something." But to go and get someone because you need an orgasm and you can't help yourself, that's like saying, "Mama, feed me. Yeah. Feed feed me." No, go ahead do it. Feed yourself. It infantilizes women, and I think maybe that's why I don't want to be that woman. You know. Yep. 
yep, and that's man on top, position A, fuck, 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 and you're supposed to come that way, and it is the procreative model, and everyone has that image burned into their brain, and it's so inadequate. So we're going to expand that, that sex definition. Yeah, I think it's called a paradigm. <laughs> <laughs> We're expanding the sex paradigm. <laughs> yeah. The woman should control, needs to control her own clitters like the man controls his own penis. And then you have a dance. You're dancing together. Mm. And equal, equal partners dancing. It's so much more fun. Now go dance together.